Sarah Buxton. Welcome to the Hokosha Estate in Chappaqua. This is a huge project for me, which started in Los Angeles and ended up here. The one thing I love about starting a project is to see the raw place, how it looks originally, and then to watch the transformation. When I start with a new client, I always feel like I have to get to know them personally and their tastes and their dislikes, which is really important because people have quirks. You know, something can throw them off, just a little thing. And you know, first, when I meet with someone, I bring all kinds of fabrics and wallpapers and textures and things that I like and just to see where they're at, you know, because people will tell you, oh, I hate that or oh, I love that. And it actually gives you a direction to go to. I've done the whole house from plans from California and we made all the furniture and bought antiques and brought also the owner's things from storage all the way from California. And then it arrived here and was put into another building and Today, the movers are here and we're moving everything in. I don't like to push my ideas on people. I like to just guide them through to find what they like because I think it's awful when someone moves into a home that's been designed and they don't feel comfortable, they don't like it, they don't, but they've spent all this money and they feel like they have to like it because they hired this designer. It's not complete. This house is not going to be complete because it's 10,000 square feet and they kind of want to collect things as they go. They didn't want to buy everything all at once because they want to make it their home. And, um, so we did sort of the bare minimum and we'll go shopping this week, and we'll go antiquing this week, and add some things to the house. We can either get it right here. She, they recommend a place around the corner. You're not crazy I, you about it. What? I haven't seen the sunroom done. Wish I took pictures. So I try to be a little bit more empathetic and imagine what this person would feel like and what they like. And, and I've noticed with a lot of clients is that I have this ability to sort of visualize things really easily. What a room will look like if you put this in it. When we purchased this chair and I, I found this fabric in a little teeny tiny shop, I could imagine this chair with this fabric on it and this the wicker painted because it used to be brown wicker. And you know, I had no problem, I was so excited. Oh, I'm gonna put that on it and I'm gonna paint that. But I, I tend to forget, like they, they're not up to speed with me. Like they don't understand, what, you're gonna do what? Why, why would you paint that? And are you sure that's gonna look good? But I can see it for some reason, like I can imagine it. So I always have to pull back and remember that people are not inside my head and are not understanding it. So I have to spell it out a little bit more. But I love the transformation of furniture and of, uh, of a room, and then ultimately of a house. It's like um, wrapping a present or something. But I really do enjoy that transformation from that's why I was so excited about coming here to the unpacking of everything because it's been nine months where we built everything, shopped everything in Los Angeles and then brought it here and it's just so fun to see it actually come into place. Then I worked with the owner's wife to make a style that works for her and we wanted to make it sort of like a carefree, glamorous, but not too glamorous because they have a new baby so it has to be comfortable for them and she's also young and we wanted to keep it young this house could have been very serious you know you could have, it could have been that kind of home 
because it's an old estate, but we decided to bring a little light, easy breezy sort of youth here. The missus of the house wanted more neutrals and lights and tans and grays, and we both agreed on that. We just started with a palette, but strangely enough, it evolved into kind of a colorful home. I mean, we actually have her living room downstairs. There's a lot of blues. Her bedroom is lavenders and purple and gray. I did another home for the owner as well, where he let me do everything on my own. He bought it, saw it. I even changed the construction and didn't see it until I completely had it finished with linens and his personal things and artwork and everything was up and he walked in and he went, oh my God, he couldn't believe it. And that's what I'm hoping to achieve this time is I want him to have that kind of moment of just not believing it, but it's not gonna be that complete of a job. It's, we don't have near enough decorative things here, but they'll be excited about what is here. You can design a room around any piece. And sometimes I like to find rugs first because you can take all the different colors in the rug and then design the room around the rug, which sounds silly. And then some clients don't like that. They're like, why would you design a room around a rug? But sometimes you can be inspired by just some vintage vase or something and or a light fixture and design a room around that. You know, you just have to pick a point of starting and sometimes it's just a matter of seeing something that inspires you for that particular room. And sometimes a painting, if you're inspired by a painting, you can see all the colors and the beauty in the painting, the feel of the painting, then you can design around the room.